Good afternoon from SeaWorld. We're back. Yeah. In SeaWorld Orlando. You excited? Yes. We're gonna go check out some of the stores. We're gonna go check out maybe a ride or two. What and the think? manatees. Oh yes, gotta see the manatees. And the dolphins. And the dolphins. And all the animals. Yes. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. We're gonna check out the SeaWorld store and see what new merch they have to offer. Ready, Jen? So we're in the store and um, I love this shirt. We're all in this together, six feet apart. That's right, I might buy that actually. And then you've also got this shirt. Brandon, you've been wanting a shirt that has like the state of Florida on it. <laughs> I do like that. The and that's $24.99 as well. Welcome back, nothing on the back. That's actually kind of fun. Yeah, you've been wanting something like that. I bet sharks are social distance experts. <laughs> yeah. Is that $24.99 yeah, as well? Yeah. I got oh, and then they've got the dark blue. I'll probably go for the pink. We're all in this together. I do Heck like yeah. that. That's cool. Oh my gosh. I really like that. It's $54.99. That's the coolest symbol. I really like it. And then, oh, it is Spirit Jersey, okay. And then this is cool. I don't know, I really like that. And they are $14.99, I like the cork bottom there. Yeah. This is $14.99, it's really cute. The metal water bottle. And then the new hat is $24.99, I like it. And then we've got this new shirt. It's $25.99. I like that one too, actually. Jen, look, it's a limited edition ice blue orca plush for $20. Hello! Aww. He's cute! I want him! We noticed on the other side of this display, they've got the new SeaWorld logo in that light blue. Glittery. For $8.99. I love it. Which reminds me, they've got some pins because they just started pin trading about two years ago on that wall over there. You wanna check it out? Yeah. So we know that SeaWorld has started back in 2018, about two years ago now, their pin collection, or pin trading, I should say. And here's some of the pins that they have. They got some new ones here. They've got these monthly pin. This one's from March. Manatee Appreciation Day is highlighted on the 25th. And then they've got National Dolphin Day, April 14th. How much are these, Jen? $18.99. $18.99 for the monthly ones. That's kind of fun. I wish I knew about them. Yeah. And they even have this Greetings from SeaWorld Orlando. Kind of looks like a postcard for $7.99. And this, I really like. All the different attractions for $10.99. Mako, Kraken, Infinity Falls, Journey to Atlantis, and Manta. And they've got some pin boxes. I don't know if any of these are new or not. A lot of up here are new too though. I don't know if any of these are new. So for $24.99 you can get this two pins from this random pin collection of Shamu and his crew. And this one is animal bottle cap pins. Also another 10 pin collection for $17.99. Not sure why that's different prices, but yeah. I've hit the mother load. <laughs> of sloth masks. You could actually be a sloth, Jen. See, that freaks me out. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't, it's not my thing. So we've got flamingos also and more sloths and they are $9.99 each and you better believe I'm buying that one it's right cool there. It's got the Sea World and the Bush Garden. Yeah, you can barely see it, but it's there. And they're eco-friendly. Nice. And then we've got some fun youth ones. Dolphins, sharks. <laughs> whales and then um, some flamingos also in youth sizes all right Jen you're gonna try on your sloth mask you're gonna have to let me know how it is oh no why does this always happen to me make a splash okay it fits 
pretty well. It's fabric. I still like my NASA one better. Because my mouth just goes in this. It's like, yeah. that's what I don't like. But I'll make it work. First order of business is to check out the dolphin nursery. Jen's favorite spot. Oh, maybe the manatees. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. <laughs> He's like, I have my teacher. Time. Oh, getting a massage. massage for the dolphins. Yeah, have to be next. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh, he's going, going fishing. fishing. Where's Don't he going? Splash me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy to be back, Jen? <laughs> Wow. Oh, there they go. <laughs> so we noticed that the Sky Tower tours are currently closed. That's not a surprise. Makes sense. Yeah, anything with confined quarters is probably not the best thing during this time. So they're temporarily closed. So I thought it would be a good time to take a look at Journey to Atlantis. Check it out. There's nothing running right now on Journey to Atlantis. And I can only imagine it's because it's a water ride and they're requiring to wear masks. Um, but, you know, just from standing here, it almost looks like Kraken's not running either. I'm going to take a closer look and see if it is. Definitely looks like Kraken is down today. Even though it says 45 minutes, They've got attendants here telling people it is down for the day. That leaves two coasters left. So Jen, you have one complaint about the sloth face mask. As you know, <laughs> she's now wearing her NASA one. It has come back on. I'm back to old reliable. Why is that? I don't know if you can tell. The strings are two different sizes. <laughs> so, so it's, it's wonky. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I don't know if you I'm gonna. You might be able to fix that. Yeah, I might. I mean, I'm not gonna have the same color uh, fabric, but. Oh well. Whatever. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. <laughs> I should just stick to this one. It's <laughs> karma telling me <laughs> just stick with what you know. I'll be in Manhattan. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, so you're just like one of our manatees, huh? Yep, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> So now we are in the urgent care area. If you notice the greenish colored manatee, her name is Siesta. She came here on Mother's Day and we found out shortly after that she was pregnant. So she gave her a which is a little calf, uh, the day after Mother's Day. Aww. Yeah. So a little Mother's Day surprise there. As soon as that calf reaches 600 pounds, then they can be released back into the wild again. So what you tend to see here in the manatee rehabilitation area is boat strikes from like, you know, Memorial Day and holidays and summer. Uh, boats accidentally strike these manatees. Yeah, see, there's one right there. And you don't really see them because this is kind of the view that a boater has. When you're going fast, they blend in with the surface of the water. But SeaWorld comes in and rescues those manatees that suffer from boat strikes. And come here and check on them every single time. It's we true. Come and check on them every single time. Are you trying to make a walk? Uh, I got wet. I got wet from that one. Yeah, they're moving. They're moving pretty quick. You know when you're a kid and you like missing yeah. directions? Yeah. So I feel like that's what they're doing. 
There's three of them in there. There's two over there, and then there's one over there. That's the one that has the deep boat strike. Looks like a scar on its back. Maybe he'll come over here so you can get a closer look on kind of what we're talking about. But that's why they say you gotta make sure you go at decent speed when you're out on a boat so that you can react. Low. Yeah, so you can react and not hurt the manatees. To prevent boat strikes, they say to slow down and watch out for wildlife and entanglement, recover fishing gear and recycle the fishing line. And sometimes you get orphaned calves just from storms or got cold stress. If you happen to see any manatees, be sure to report any injured manatees to the local authorities so that they can come out. People like SeaWorld can come out and help rescue them. So if you end up fishing, be sure to use dispensary tubes like this or recycling bins so that these animals don't have to encounter your trash. <laughs> I was gonna say potential injury, but trash oh. is good too. So a little bit off the beaten path over near the dolphin encounter area over here, they have on this wall a list of all the different animal rescues they've made to date. I know I recorded this before in the past. That's the year also. Yeah. Yeah. So I have to go back and look and see what it was this time, well, a year ago when we last came. Yeah. To what it is now, but it looks like there's 21 rescue manatees, 15 sea turtles, and 97 birds. They help birds too, who would have thought? Yeah. We're near the dolphin cove and some dolphins are poking their heads up to say hello. There's some that are playing in that back cove over there with the ball. That sounds pretty fun. You got some fish? Oh, he had some fish in his mouth. That's gross. <laughs> Check it out. They're all playing with the buoy. <laughs> That is so funny. <laughs> Playing toss with himself. So something that I am noticing is that they've gone through and put one directional arrows on certain paths, but I'm noticing not a lot of people are following them. It's kind of hard to enforce it, but yeah, just be mindful of that. Oh. <laughs> so the Stingray Lagoon is currently down for refurbishment. But it also kind of makes sense. You don't want to be feeding animals and petting them with dirty hands. So we came into Coconut Bay Traders, which is actually right across from the Stingray Lagoon over there. I found this other spirit jersey that I haven't seen before. It says SeaWorld on it. $49.99, so it's cheaper than the other one. And it's got a little starfish on the front. And then we found February. If we could find January, that'd be kind of cool. World Whale Day is on February 15th, right after Valentine's Day. And then in this same shop, we found this really cute hat. It's $24.99. And it's the state of Florida with love. I sure do love our state. All right, Jen. I see you got a new hat. Yep. <laughs> Could, couldn't stay away from it. It was cute, and I can wear it, like, anywhere. Yeah, it kind of goes with everything. But it does have a SeaWorld brand in there. Yeah, on the inside. It's and not the inside, as, yeah. Not as noticeable yeah, on the outside. I like it, because it's, like, just... I don't know. It's nice. Good choice, Jen. Here we are at Manta, but it's got a posted time of a hundred minutes. So, I don't think we'll be riding that today. And with Kraken down, that leaves only one coaster left. Mako. There it is. But it almost looks like they're seating every other row which is probably going to contribute to the 100 minute wait. Well, we may not be riding any roller coasters today. I know that social distancing has a role in the wait time, but my goodness. We might have to come back and try it another day.
All right, we are in the Shark Reef, and on the other side of Mako, and the gift store is a face covering relaxation zone right here. This face covering relaxation zone allows you to take your mask off and relax a little. So here we are at Mako, and it's a 65 minute wait. I don't know if we'll be riding any rides today, Jen. So it doesn't look like we'll be riding many rides today. That's okay. Fortunately, just the wait times are too long. We may have to look in that quick queue because, or just kind of wait a little bit to ride rides until the excitement dies down. It's okay, but I'm here for the animals. I know, you're here for the animals and the atmosphere. Yeah. Which has been a, kind of been the theme of all our reopenings. It's just the atmosphere. Yeah, just happy to be out. Let's check out uh, Infinity Falls and see how that looks. It looks like a line. Oh, it does. Long lines. Seems like a lot of people are waiting for the attractions. That's where the biggest clusters of people have been. Not so much walking on the paths. The paths have been pretty empty. Yeah. And the merch places have been pretty slow. It just seems like the rides have been where everybody's congregated to. So here we are at Infinity Falls, where it actually looks like they're no longer accepting people in line because the line is so long and the clouds have kind of moved in. Might get some rain. Here comes the raft. We gotta ride this at some point, not today. No. But we gotta ride it at some point. They don't even have a wait time. Yeah, there's no wait time posted. So you'll see there's no wait time posted for Infinity Falls. And there's some clouds moving in. Which if you know about Florida, you know, and there's a helicopter up there. You know that that usually means there could be some rain. But that's not gonna stop these thrill seekers. All right, let's go check out Sesame Street Land on our way to the front of the park. Looks like the sun's peeking out. So here we are entering Sesame Street Land and it is very empty right now. Very empty. No meet and greets right now. They do. They do? They do have meet and greets, but it's like a, you stand on the line sort of thing and it's not inside. Like they're all outside somewhere. I'm just not sure where. So right here, the kids' water playground area is temporarily closed as a part of this phase reopening for SeaWorld Orlando. Interesting. You want to go check out some stores? That's right behind us, back this way. Yep, right there. Well, they definitely opened up the store. They used to have smaller racks here, but as a part of social distancing, they have removed some of those racks. We got some pins. Oh, check it out. They got some neighborhood pins. That's, oh, that's kind of fun. $17.99. And they got the little floats. This is $19.99, though. Then you got the Pixel Sesame Street characters for $15.99. It's very open as you've got social distancing markers down. These used to be where racks were, but it's very open now inside the store. Check it out. That is cute. $14.99. Oh. I like the artwork. I think it's adorable. It's cute. And I got even Turvis. Yeah. So it was really nice to see Sesame Street pretty much intact. But now I think I'm going to head closer to the front of the park and check out the construction on Icebreaker. Also, there's a rest area. <laughs> oh, yes. Check it out. Right, right in front of Sesame Street. There is a rest area, or relaxation zone is what they call it, where you can take off your mask. And it looks like a new area, like a general. Yeah, like a patio. I don't know if we had anything over there before. I don't know. But yeah. I don't think so. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right, let's go check out Icebreaker, because <laughs> yeah. I hear it's just about done. <gasps> Woo. So check out this track. I believe this was already done the last time we were here for Icebreaker, but that's that incline where it pulls you back and then drops you. Let's go check out the other side over there. Well, I thought we could go through here, but they've got the pathway blocked. But check out that icebreaker track. Looks like it's a lot of bunny hills. 
and then you've got an inversion. It's not really an inversion, but they call it the top hat. So essentially, look at that banked turn there. Whew. So this is not gonna go upside down? No. Okay. So it looks like the station's on the other side over there, and they have you go up the tower, which is what we saw on the other side, is past that tree, drops you down into the top hat, and then you go through that all the way down there, bunch of hills, turn around, and then come back and head that way. But it is a, not a closed circuit track, it's kinda, it's a one, one train on it at a time. I don't know. Is it? Does it look like a penguin? So the reason I said, is it going to be a penguin, penguin themed, is because it looks like the way the track is, it's like they're swimming. Yeah, you're like right. Like through the ocean. Yeah, it does have a lot of ups and downs, like was... they're jumping through the water and swim, because if you see them, they, they go like that when they yeah, swim. Yeah, they, because huh. so, they have like cheetah hunt, which is like a cheetah, Yeah. and then like Mako is what, uh, yeah, Sharks. like a shark. Manta is the... It's kind of the, the ray and kind of... So you yeah. might be right. That's <laughs> probably what they're going for. Yeah. Cool. Uh, just looking at the track, I could see it, so... I hear it's supposed to be more like... Not for kids, but more family-friendly. Yeah. Um, kind of like Cheetah Hunt. Kind of, yeah. But I think Cheetah Hunt's a little more intense because it actually has an inversion. I love that ride. That's all I want to do. Oh, it's a great ride, but I think it has an inversion, whereas this doesn't. Uh, so that's kind of what they're going for is a family oriented roller coaster. Oh yeah, check out that track for Icebreaker. It's pretty neat. You can see that it goes up on the left there. Right up on the left hand side. Drops down through the top hat. And then over to the back side of Bayside Stadium. And then loops back around. But it is not a closed circuit track. So once the car comes to a stop right about there there is a track switch that will bring it back to the station. So I would imagine that capacity, hourly capacity, is not the greatest on one of these, but yeah, pretty neat. So that'll do it for us here at SeaWorld Orlando. Did you have a fun day? Yes. Now, I would be remiss if we didn't talk about the social distancing and kind of the measures that SeaWorld has practiced today. So I know it's not SeaWorld's fault most of the time, um, a lot of guests were not properly wearing their face masks, uh, majority of them, yeah. I noticed, and there wasn't a whole lot of social distancing. Now, within the park pathways, it was not too bad. Uh, a lot of people hub huddled around the entrances to the rides, and in the queues of the lines, I did not see a lot of it myself. What, so, social distancing? Yes. Yeah, no. So, my hope is that this is just because they were reopening, and it's a learning process for everyone, the guests and the yeah. company. Um, but I think we might take a break from SeaWorld yes. for a little bit until they kind of work out some of yes. the kinks. Now, I don't want to end it on a sad note, so I'm going to put in a bunch of dolphins here <laughs> while we do our sign-off. Yeah. So if you like the video, be sure to like the video directly above these dolphins, because that's the last time we came to SeaWorld. And then the video to the top left of the dolphins is a video that YouTube recommends specifically for you. Now, if you want to join our adventures, tell them what to do. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell. So until next time, see you, see you real soon. soon.